Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where I'm trying to pull off a sneaky couple of wins to stay in the game at the moment. It's Operation Smoking Chant, neutralize a target and we can get uh, quite a bit of intel off of it. But we're up against many many advents as always. A heavy mech, um, elite sharpshooters, mutant codex vipers, okay, well... Well, that's at least good. No major problem there. Archon, Val uh, Archon Valkyrie might be a problem and a Spectre might be an issue as well. But we got a good team. As always, we're not going to take uh, things with us that we aren't willing to lose. We got uh, two ghost grenades to get the hell out of there. And we got a couple of normal grenades. Uh, plus our Reaper Haunt is going to give his debut on this very map so without further ado let's jump into it and see what we can do our prime team by the way is really getting well together so i'm looking forward to the next uh, mission the 51 kill mission that's going to be a fun one all right let's uh, focus on this one and see how it goes all right we landed so let's take a look 12 rounds got the dark vip here <coughs> excuse me and a sneezing ex uh, extraction zone over there well let's hope that we're as fast as that sneeze first things first the invaders send a patrol Ooh. all right that's six enemies right there And just look at the vigilance circle. Isn't that just amazing? I was I mentioned it once and I will say it again. The circle of vigilance potentially the biggest problem that we do have in this campaign. Got it covered. It's just in, incredibly difficult for us to get anywhere close to these enemies. On the move. Good, we got a fire line. But boy, that is rough as a start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Peg sizes of seven with co uh, conventional weapon and without an armor upgrade. That's what I call rough. Good, we can hit almost all of them. And I think the only real way of starting that is a double whammy which is claymore into explosion so, so short of the skirmisher i think everybody should be almost dead Okay, cool. Good. Uh, let's do the obvious ones here first. Comet protocol of the Mac into shield bearer. Easy. Getting that guy down, we do have silent killer, so we're okay. No reveal. Yeah, we're let's start with a lancer. And get that purifier. All right, not bad. So far that actually works out reasonably well. Forty percent, not so good. We could move a bit closer. Okay. 
All right, four points of damage. Uh, that should be definitely doable. And the DM is a melee expert. Advanced hair trigger and advanced focus into advanced cover. And I think we're advancing. Wow, so many puns in just one sentence. All right. Good, first pack is down. We're not uh, that far into the mission. Let's see what we're dealing with. I will reposition. Slowly advancing. Codex Prime. Couple of Archons. Couple of Mutants. Okay. Let's see, what kind of heck can we get? Fifty percent on everybody who, uh, who could get squad side. That's actually not too bad. Listen, if they stay there, uh, we claim more. Hmm. And next turn, if everybody had squad side, that uh, would give us a lot of advantages. 50-50. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. position I think over here we're not going to trigger pretty sure we're not this one here will not trigger either moving up Noxus is just shy of getting there. Let's position over here. That at least gives us an aiming angle. Okay. Let's hope these guys are not moving in too far. Damn it. Our sonic bomb. Well, thank you. And we're being spotted out. Great. Spectre. Let's make sure we can deal with that codex uh, there. Like I said, we don't need even more problems. Running and gunning. Let's get up here. That will trigger Overwatch. Uh, and we're, he's automatically missing. Good chance for a crit, and that would be a kill. Of course, the 6% chance of not critting. 
actually became true. Roro moves into full cover. Free reload. And that's a good question. Um, I think that's the right play here. The disoriented codex will not be able to replicate. My main challenge is potentially the Archon Valkyrie. Yeah, let's just try to get it down. Or injure it uh, enough. The shredding definitely worked out well. One more shot or two. Spotted out the VIP. Let's try to reduce the number of enemies on the field. Newton almost dead. Codex down. Mutant down. Okay, so I got one. Draining ammo fast. And we're putting a mimic beak in there. That should at least keep some of them busy. You just gotta hate the sonic bombs. Okay, well, apparently no one really wanted to kill. Uh, four to six. No, mm, it's not a 100% kill. Moving in next turn, we can do something about this, but For now, these guys need to die. On my way. And so does the Codex here. Another free reload. Well, not sure if impressed is the right word. I'm mainly annoyed. Uh, 
uh, we need damage lots and lots and lots of damage move moving with Hayward and we're starting with the Valkyrie here dual shot Okay. We need to shred the other one. Okay, that's good. And now let's get the Valkyrie down. Of course. Dodging. Good, moving up to a reposition. And my biggest problem with a Sentinel is uh, he um, or it can deal a lot of damage. Spectre is also an issue, but not just as much. It typically takes someone over, and then if you kill it, you're fine. Untouchable baby, that was a mistake. Stupid sentinel. hit reposition move back in yeah I'll make sure it doesn't come down to a chance but we're taking 100% shot here that is too important We can move out here, okay, well. Let's start with uh, ruining the wall. Nice damage, that's good. I like it. If we subdue him, that'll lead to 
spawns of reinforcements and we really don't want that better to reload now and do it next turn good we're moving up Interesting, okay, so there is an entire patrol there. I'll just block the entrance here. That means they can't get to the rooftop. And all we need to do is... Get over here, get the VIP, and... Then we're getting out of here. Will do. Let's see what else. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, this is going to be a hotter ride than I expected. Careful. But we're getting as close to the exit as possible. Yeah, we don't want to deal with the Berserker Queen. Hmm, okay. Well, F you. Good. Time to subdue. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. Carrying that unit. Okay, we can might as well. Ah, shall we open the door? No, no, no. Uh, that's the um, berserker. We don't want to yet open the door. Moving up. Emergency eight. Everybody disappears. Okay, I have another idea of how to improve that. Should have thrown it outside. Well, that's unfortunately not improving it. I, I was hoping it would. Freely opening that door. Roger that. 
And we should be fine. Keep going. Noxus needs to run. Good, Roro moves. Noxus moves. Hayward moves and BDM moves. Okay, they know exactly what's up. We're going to carry that package out of here, no matter what. Got another ghost grenade. So whoever is not making it out this turn We'll make sure that they will make it out uh, afterwards. Just barely not out of there, okay. And VDM moves over here. I am trusting you. Good. Haunt makes it out. Sane makes it out. I think we're just going to wait this out real quick. Um, yeah, next turn. Okay, Ooh, close. We're still concealed, so they don't know where we are. Everybody gets an aid protocol just to make the actual move that's now going to happen a little bit less painful. The guy who's triggering it will be VDM. Should be two overwatch shots. Uh, 
Uh, not good. Okay, we need to need to get out of here. Free action. Hayward gets out of here as well. The Berserker Queen with her actions is a bit of a problem. save himself so close We have enough time, so Noxus can spend one more round completely hidden. And Roro hopefully will not get killed. Okay, the mine interrupted uh, the stunning process. Yeah, thank God for the uh, for the ghost grenades. That actually made the whole thing a little bit more tenable. I could have killed the pack, all of the packs short of the berserker. That would have not. That would have simply wouldn't have worked out. The last pack, yes, we had uh, grenades left over. I could have done it. But not the Berserker. That's not possible. Yeah, well, we made it. That's a big fat win in my book. We killed enough uh, of them uh, for it being uh, just a normal mission, but we actually left more than half uh, behind, which shows you just how many hit points we got to chew through. And in hindsight, potentially what I could have done in that campaign is actually use the dark event, uh, the, the advanced setting for double uh, timers. Because that would have shifted the, the focus of this campaign from me actually needing to flee in many of the missions because it is uh, mathematically impossible to win. More towards uh, a like needs to just fight tooth and nails uh, through, uh, through some of these missions. Advanced hair trigger is good. Advanced focus, not so much. Good. Now, supplies um, all fine, but really, uh, really important is the re uh, removal of negative uh, traits. We got some more intel as well. We're at now rocking 190, which means I am confident enough to start making contact here because we have one. We have one region left over. 
Uh, and with that, I mean, we have enough intel that if one region uh, would go rogue, we could immediately regain it. So I, I will keep that amount of intel, give and take. But South America is almost ours. If I was a greedy person, I would potentially push further there. But I'm not, so we're actually just keeping it as is. No more engineer needed anywhere. We're good. Yeah, we're very good. Good. All negative trades removed. Which means, really, we are now off to this bad boy of a mission. Codex Prime, Spectre, Sentinel, Sectopod, Purifier, a lot of uh, elite something, Max, Officers, Medi Drones, Prime Viper, and a couple of others. So a lot of mechanical units, uh, which I very much like. Uh, that, that'll be good for us. We're going to uh, go through that with the main team, of course and that'll happen in the next episode for now for now i think that's pretty much it um, that's the one ammunition let's actually do two more ammunition because then we have a, a variety of options so that's good i think overall this is looking up better than before but we're not quite there soon this covered ax, uh, uh, ops mission will be done and then i wanted to have the soldier bond with hogbite and namri just to upgrade the soldier bond and also give plus nine uh to uh to dodge so yeah that'll, that'll be the next one but overall it's good and the current resistance order with uh, on every mission there is a chance that uh, an advent unit will join the XCOM squad is great if we get the South American bonus uh, for a resistance operative on top of it uh, that is um, a good chance that we would end up with seven instead of six operatives and I can use all of the firepower that we uh, that we can muster at that point so yeah good very good as always guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you are looking forward for a massacre of 51 enemies or us failing the run, because I will be honest, the next one is pretty much a deal breaker. We can't pull it off. Um, I'm willing to retreat, but if we continuously can't pull it off, then this campaign isn't going anywhere. So that's really the make or break uh, now to see if we can push it all the way to Waterworld. Wish me luck if you are enjoying that and looking forward for it. Uh, don't forget to comment and uh, let me know what your thoughts are. See you soon. Bye bye.